the Joe Rogan experience. That would have been an interesting fight to see him versus Khabib, but the way Oliveira controlled him on the ground. Yeah, I don't think it would have been interesting. Yeah, after but watching we, that. We, we wanted to know, you know, like, what yeah. would happen because Tony's dangerous off of right. his back. You know, like submitted Kevin Lee. Right, no, he's, he's got good jiu jitsu. You know, Nasty I, elbows. Yeah, yeah. He's, you know, he's, he's tough. He's very, very, very tough. I think uh, I'm more interested in seeing Oliveira fight for the title than anybody in that division. Yeah, he's got How do you think shot. Oliveira versus Khabib would have went? I don't know. Same thing that would have happened to everybody else. I you think. think so? I think so. You know, it's like Khabib's just too good. Yeah, I, I think, you know, Khabib's the go to that, that division, you know, for me. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. I believe he's the go to that division, but I don't know what would happen with Oliveira until you see it. See, with Oliveira, like, there are moments, like, when Cub Swanson knocked him out. There's moments when you go back in his career and you go, oh, well, this guy's not the greatest. And then you see him in some fights, like the Kevin Lee fight. We submitted Kevin Lee, right. put him out, and then Kevin wakes up and thinks, thinks he's still fighting. Right. Um, submits Tony in a spectacular way. And just, just he's so technical. Yeah. Like everything's so good. He's never out of position. Everything's so he doesn't force anything. Everything looks fucking amazing. His jiu jitsu looks really good. Oh, amazing! Yeah. It's amazing. And you go, man, I want to see him fight for the title. I want to see him fight Dustin. I want to yeah. see him fight Connor. I want to see him fight whoever else is in that division. I don't think Connor's going to be a contender anymore, though. I think uh, that's it. I think that's it. You know, it's like, um, you know, I'm sure he'll make money, and you know, he'll probably fight a few more times if he wants to. But it's like, um, I, I just, you know, it's like he he. You know, I think time has probably taken its toll. Do you think that's it, or do you think it's just money and motivation and spending a lot of hey. time out of the sport? I mean, look, he's training for Floyd, so he's boxing for a long time. Right. Then he takes two years off. He's fighting Khabib. Right. You know, and then he beats Cowboy, but just swarmed him, you know, swarmed yeah. him, jumped on him real quick, hurt him quick, and, and stopped yeah, him. Cowboy was always a slow starter. Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, that, I, I think it's just, you know, maybe it's time, maybe it's, maybe it's desire, maybe, I, I, I don't know, I don't have the answer, but I think the time has come and went. It's easy know? to say that after you see the result, right? Yeah. But what's interesting in that fight is there's moments in that fight where he was having big success, and he hurt Dustin right. at one point in time with a big left hand. Yeah. But that fucking low calf kick, Yeah. It's, that it low like calf kick him. is a beast. Yeah. yeah. That's a... It changed. It changed the uh, you know the look changed on his life. face. Yeah, I, I think I think me personally, I'm a Connor fan, so probably I go a little biased on it. But I think it's more so uh, that time, you know, that time going to uh, boxing and then coming mm -hmm. over yeah. first fight back fighting Khabib, and then you take time off and then you come back and then you fight Cowboy and then you pandemic comes, you get a whole another year off and then you come back and you yep. fight Dustin Poirier. Let's think about his last few fights. Let's think about his last three losses. You got Floyd Mayweather, mm -hmm. right? Arguably one of the greatest boxers of all time. If not, definitely the best defensive boxer of all times, right? Yeah. And one of the smartest boxers of all times as far yeah. as how he did his career. And then you lose to Khabib. Yeah. You say it's the greatest 155er ever. I Even so. one around against Khabib. Probably drunk off his whiskey as well, you know? <laughs> uh, then you got the Dustin Poirier fight. I think he's pretty serious about the Dustin Poirier fight, but... I think at the same time, I think he's thinking bigger than what he was at the time. I think he's thinking about boxing Pacquiao and doing mm -hmm. all these other things that yeah. he goes in there with, uh, my hands are this fantastic, and it's time to show you guys that Max Holloway's not the best boxer. He gets chopped at the leg, now it's hard to move. Yeah, it's hard to move, you can't. It's hard to defend a takedown, it's hard to grapple, it's hard to box, it's hard to do anything. You know, Me personally, I never thought an Irishman could get knocked out until then. <laughs> you know, so, it's a fucking crazy <laughs> night, you know. But yeah, I I don't I don't necessarily think it's over for the guy. I just think the guy has to not take a rich person's approach. I think he has to take more of an approach that he took back in the day when he was on welfare. Right. Go out there and get it. Stop telling everybody what your training schedule is going to be and just fucking do what the fucking gym tells you to do. Well, he was still he was pretty fucking rich when he fought Eddie Alvarez. You know, he yeah. was already a multimillionaire. It's not. I don't necessarily think it's a rich thing. I don't know if that affects him that much, but I do think it's inactivity, and I do think that Dustin got a lot better. And Dustin's. Yeah. At 145, Dustin was depleted and diminished. At 155, yeah. he's fucking huge. He doesn't even look like a 55er. He looks like a 70. Yeah, he's he's back. His back is fucking gigantic. Yeah. And Dustin, look at Dustin's series of victories. Look at the people that he beat. Beat the shit out of Max Holloway, yeah. right? That's crazy. But that was at 155, not 45. Right, right. but yeah. still, yeah. You're, he, you're still Max Holloway. Yeah, he beat him. He beat him. And beat sure. him with what Max Holloway is best at, which is stand-up. I mean, right. you see what Max Holloway did to Calvin Cater. Like, right. Jesus Christ, Max Holloway's stand-up is outstanding. So, so yeah. he beats him. For He's, whatever reason, he looked a little bit slow in that fight. 
Max he, did. Yeah, Ma- yeah, I thought Max looked a little bit off uh, when he fought Dustin. Might at, be gaining the weight. Yeah, yeah, it's like he, he yeah. just he was a little bit slower. It's like you know that, that last fight he looked so fast, and some of the other fights. Like, but it's when he also fight Alto and he's fighting Dustin. Styles make fights. Dustin's yeah. fucking good, man. Oh, Dustin's Styles very, very good. He's fucking very, very good. good. And but then, he's not Khabib. He's not. You know, he's not. Uh, you know, he's like, he is good, but it's so like he's... You, you think, think it was Dustin other wins the rematch? You think, you think uh, hands knows? down, Dustin again? No, I would never say hands down. You never know. Because D- Connor did have moments in that fight. Yeah, he had moments round, in the yeah. first round. And Dustin said there was a moment in that first round where he got his bell rung and he was in trouble. Now, imagine if Connor connects again. Right. Imagine. I mean, that's how fights are. Fights Loose are Connor. weird. Weird things happen. Loose Connor. Connor who plays touch button in the park is, 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 is a great Connor. You know, yeah. he's moving <laughs> and he's button. fucking... Throwing those spinning hill kicks and shit. The thing is, it's though, he's great. heavy on that front leg, wide karate stance. He, you know, he's always doing this. He's always doing this, man. When that leg is available for that low calf kick, that changes everything. Changes your whole approach. And Connor is also a guy that's never been known to like switch back and forth. He doesn't like to have left leg forward. It's not no. that's not a common thing for him. No. So once his leg is getting chewed up. You know, it's, it's not like he's got that option. Like, he right. can fight just as good from orthodox. No, right. and it's probably worse from orthodox now that he all he does is work on his boxing. Right. You know, and it's like the good things point. that he probably used to do from a switch dance, you know, different yeah. kicks, different setups. It's probably not there anymore, you know. Yeah. He's probably really, really great fighter from that one stance. But mm-hmm. now, when you take him outside of that stance, he probably becomes, you know, almost like a C or D grade fighter. Well, they're talking about doing that fight again, which a lot of people in that division are pissed. Because they're like, well, what the fuck? You guys are tying no, up do it. the championship. Do it. Because it's not really the championship. They don't want the, the belt. championship has not even been decided whether or not Khabib's going to step down. Yeah. So then there's been talk, well, they might do it again, but they'll do it for the belt. No, I and think then- Charles I think uh, Charles and Chandler for uh, even an interim belt, just some type of belt, Charles and Chandler makes sense. People probably can get mad about that because the Chandler's barely coming from Bellator over to UFC, but... Come on, dude. He just knocked out Dan Hooker. Yeah. He didn't take him down and smash him. Smashed him. him. Which we all thought he right. was going to do. He knocked him out. One punch. With yeah. that left hook that we talk about, right? Yep. Yeah. Beautiful <laughs> you know? left. Long one, too. Long left hook. Yeah. So Touched him to the body with the right hand, then and left hooked him. The the Bronx guy, you know, the Charles, you know, he's he's been doing great. He deserves to fight for a belt. So yep. him and, uh, you know, Mr. Bellator fighting for a belt. I think it sounds good, and she I think a lot of people even Dustin fighting for the belt. Well, th- does that make Corey sense? Corey's trying to make money right now. He's yeah, not heard like, about you know, the belt. Andy Let him lost. make his money. He lost to Khabib, so it's like, yeah, you know, I, yeah. Why, but he's, he happen? lost to Khabib. You know, he almost submitted. He almost submitted Khabib. You know, he had Khabib yeah. in a really tight guillotine. Yeah, he did. Guillotine. You know, I mean, he if, took him in a deep water. for Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure Khabib probably farted two times in that guillotine. You know what I mean? It's like two times. Yeah, when you know you get choked real hard, it's like you know what I mean. Then you then you pass over and you're good to go. Yeah. Do you like what do you do with Justin Gage? Because Justin, Justin Gage, Gage he just he got, he, he got he got subbed. His performance, I like Justin Gage, but his performance against Khabib was was fucking embarrassing. You know? I don't know if it's embarrassing. I don't, I don't think, think, it's that I think it was embarrassing. Yeah, like, he Khabib fucking ran the whole time. If I run like that against Derek Brunson, that's a problem. Don't run from somebody just because they're, they're good. But he's got to keep he a way hurt. to land those leg kicks. Yeah, he, he was he, hurting them. The he definitely hurt him. Fucking jab. What's wrong with a jab? Mm. Nobody throws jab. Okay, don't I want you jab. remember that. I want you to remember that okay, you just said that. You thank re- you. Throw the damn well, hook. Throw, shit. <laughs> throw, throw the <laughs> damn jab. Throw the damn jab. <laughs> shit. I set myself up. But yeah, uh, no. no I, 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 from everything I seen from Justin Gaethje and then that fight, I was like, oh, fuck that, dude. I ain't got him. You didn't like it. I lost money on that shit. Hell yeah. What do you like think it. about Gaethje versus Chandler? That's a good fight. That's That'd be fun. Fight. That'd That's be a good fight. fight. Yeah. yeah. That's a good fight. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free, only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.